secondary. I asked him to WAIT, and he has to hold it. He's already going into the SIT on his own. Now, if he broke the SIT, I would tell him MO and put it back. Now I'm ready to go. Remember, my whole goal is not to use the leash. I, don't, I have the e-call. I'm not even using that right now. Just want him to listen to my body and my words. Let's go. Wait. Good. That's a default SIT, meaning I say wait, and he automatically goes into the SIT. I want to switch directions. Again, I try not to use the leash. Let's go. Now, obviously, he's thinking about it because you're there. Give him a chance. Pressure. One little flick. I'm not mad or angry. It's literally just a flick of the finger. The reason I demo that, I'm not using, it's not physical strength. It's like, hey, buddy. Follow me. Now, look how he's walking. See the respect? He's not trying to pull for no reason. Wait. Let's go. Switch directions. I'm not going to do it to him for no reason. Wait. Okay. Give him a chance. He's thinking about it. Nope. When he starts to walk ahead, I'm not going to warn him. The minute he starts to pull, I'm just going to go boom the other way. And then he's going to go wow. Like switch directions. Switch yeah. directions. So you're walking north. He starts to pull. This is the line north. The minute he starts to pull, I'm just going to go boom south and hard. And he's going to go wow. And then he'll run back to your side. One smooth motion, just keep moving heel to heel. And he'll be like, and then switch directions again. Okay. You saw, I'm not gonna do that to him now because he's not pulling me. But you saw when I did that once, he hasn't tried to forge ahead since then. But I'm also not rewarding him. I'm not giving him tons of praise. I'll just say good if he listens because he's the type of dog. The minute you give him any kind of affection or praise or treats on the walk, he's gonna get excitable, he's gonna pull, he's gonna jump. So this is the reward. He's learning to be calm on the walk. Now we're gonna give him a chance again. Again, one finger. Let's go. Now he listens. Why? Because he realizes he's gonna make me do it with a leash. So I might as well listen. He's walking perfect. I'm not even using the leash. Switch directions. Switch directions. staring at him either. If I stare at him, that's going to make him nervous. Okay? And if he lays down, that's fine. I don't care. But, when I'm ready to move, when I'm ready to move, you have to move. If I'm ready to move, let's go. And you see he does? So I literally have not used the leash other than that one flick back over there. Let's go. Totally off, you see what I mean by off leash, right? Yeah. No pressure on the leash whatsoever. Wait. Sit. Give him a chance, step into space. And now give him the space back. So you saw what I did there? He wasn't listening, so I got into space. Big tough guy, but as soon as he sat, I gave him the space back. See that? And literally, Joanne, I haven't used the leash. Yeah. It's here. I'm, I'm always ready. Like if a dog goes to attack me, I'm ready. Dog and no e-collar either. Ready. But what? And no e-collar. I know. I haven't even used the e-collar. I'm doing more this leash stuff right now. Because the Perfect. leash stuff should always come first. Because if he's not proficient on the leash, I can start hitting him with the e-collar. He's still not going to be proficient on the leash. So I'd rather the dog be super proficient on the leash, and then we do the e-collar and add it in. See what I mean? But he doesn't even... I'm not saying he never needs the e-collar, but for this stuff right now, you just I want him to listen to me before anything. And then the e-collar will be even more valuable than the leash. See? Let's go. He's thinking about it. He's like, eh, he's going to make me do it. Right? Do you remember that one time when he wouldn't walk? And I had to give him a little pop? 
Yeah. I know every time I make you laugh, you do that. So. A thousand percent. I have full <laughs> conversations with him. He's actually walking like too slow right now. But again, I don't care. Like if you're walking nicely, that's all I care about. Wink. Go. And I expect him to walk at the pace of whoever walks him. So if Ed walks faster than you, he has to walk at Ed's pace. You walk slower, he has to walk at your pace. You should never match his pace. But one of the things you might do, go. he might start pulling you so you start walking faster. And I don't care if he's on the prong, the e-collar harness, he's just gonna keep pulling if you let him. And do the directional changes into him also if you notice. So he sees that it's my space, not his space. See? Oh, so you don't change directions away from him. Both. Both. I do both, like when, especially with the H-E-E-L, when he starts pulling, I do it away from him so that he winds up on the same side. So he's on my right, he winds up back on my right. But I'll, I'll sporadically turn into him too, so he sees this is my space, not yours, see? And I'll give him a little bump away, like, dude, get away from my space. Give me some space. You don't need to be on top of me, tripping me while we walk. Wait. Let's go. hold the SID, right? So no matter what I do right now, he should hold it. But if I'm staring at him, giving him a big smile, and Google-eyeing him, and talking to him, he's gonna break the SID. But then it's gonna make me mad and frustrated, 